Uh, I share with you a kind of irritation and uh, even annoyance with uh, all kinds of pseudoscience and, and worse, things like uh, crystal healing and uh, all that kind of nonsense, uh, astrology and all its, uh, all of those sorts of things. But I was thinking recently that uh, one of the reasons that non-scientists and the lay uh, person, the person on the street, uh, not only has faith in, in some of that nonsense, but doesn't have faith in science is because there's a lot of nonsense in science as well and or what goes by the name of science and as an example I'll bring up for example uh, the conflicting advice we for we get about uh, nutrition from yes. real scientists yes. and a friend of mine recently joked that the most important question science should answer now is is it okay to eat eggs <laughs> because they keep going back and forth. Yes. I mean, the American Heart Association at one point was saying uh, you should have no more than one egg a month. And now it has swung again into you can, uh, you know what I'm talking yes, about. I They're do. constantly yes. going back and yes. forth. And, and you know, the public see, and these are, uh, these are not fly-by-night operations. These are studies done by NIH and NSF-funded uh, uh, organizations mm -hmm. and real uh, bona fide scientists. So when the public sees this thing, this type of thing coming out of science, and I, how, what's going on over here? Why does this sort of thing exist? And what can we do to, uh, to make things more consistent and, and so that the public has more confidence? I think it's a very serious problem. It's one that I have recognized but not thought about enough, and, I, and thank you for raising it. Um, I've noticed it especially in the nutrition case, as, as you say. Mm -hmm and uh, constantly seesawing advice from one side to As if science can't um, because it's mine. That's right. Things. And I suppose what it is, is that these are extremely complex matters. There are interactions, whether substance X is good for you or bad for you, mm -hmm. it probably interacts in complex ways with genetics, with um, other substances, and so if you do a naive study in which you simply say, um, take a hundred people, give them substance X, another hundred people can give them none, or then, then look and see which one's most healthy, you, you may be getting a completely misleading result. So it shouldn't really be all that surprising that different isolated studies, each of which is thinking in a one-dimensional way, mm -hmm. gets apparently contradictory results. How you educate the public, goodness knows, because because scientists and doctors aren't that sophisticated about right. that kind of thing either. I, I was wondering if the pressure to publish as part of, uh, to advance your own career, is responsible for studies being published a little too hastily. Or, uh, Excellent point, and, and I think especially in medical fields there is enormous competition, uh, and medical science actually, I think, comes out top of the infamous scale of, I mean, there's not a lot of scientific fraud, but, but such as there is, um, <laughs> o often appears in medical science, I'm very sorry to say. And I think it's because of driving ambition, which starts in pre-medical school. Hmm.